Hi, Jessica Sporn here, showing you a tag I made with a new stencil of mine from Stencil Girl Products. It is teapot, a teapot and teacups, and uh, I did some jelly plate printing with it, and now I am stenciling over the jelly plate with some black paint just to bring out these teacups. And I decided to cut one out that I'm going to use in this tag. I'm adding some details uh, with paint um, just so it doesn't look like a um, kind of cookie cutter stencil and um, just roughing it up a little bit with some white paint here. And then I'm adding some brown as well um, just because I want it to look a little more like tea. And I'm just playing with it. I had also made a couple of tags on my jelly plate and um, playing with those as well. And here I'm just stenciling directly on top of one of the tags using the stencil and not caring so much that some of, the, uh, some of it is going off the page. I actually decided to concentrate on uh, this second tag that I am working on. I'm filling in the heart in both the tea bag and the teacup with some paint, and now I'm painting up the teacup itself. Each new layer of paint builds on the one before. It's all very translucent, so you can see the under layers as well. I'm using golden fluid acrylics mixed with uh, matte medium on my very dirty plastic plate that I use as a palette. Then I'm going back in with the white on this one as well, again, just so it has some more hand uh, painted marks to it. It gives it a little bit of a painterly look. Using some fallow turquoise golden fluid acrylics to add some shading and some shadowing and um, I really like the way that color looked on top of the yellow that was on the tag so I am just bringing it around the whole tag but then wiping some of it off with a paper towel I'm going back in again with the turquoise for some shading. I had these polymer clay uh, faces that I had made once upon a time and um, this is why it's great to just have things on your work table. You never know when they might come in handy. And uh, I also had done some jelly plate printing using the doors and windows stencil and so I'm using some leftovers from that to make some more hearts uh, to put around the page. I could have also used the heart from the um, teapot stencil, but I wanted the dimension that the cutouts bring. And here I'm using the dots and dashes stencil to add a border all around the tag. And then I'm just using my very skinny rigger brush, R-I-G-G-E-R, -G -G -E to um, out outline the hearts, going back in with the fallow turquoise, phalo, fallow, I'm never quite sure about that, um, adding in some more shadowing until I feel like I'm done. And then I added a sentiment with my own handwriting, grew some calm today. So here are some other designs that I did with the teapot and teacup stencil. I hope you like them. You'll check it out at stencilgirlproducts.com. And please feel free to share this video. I would love if you do. And visit me at my blog at jessicasporn.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.